subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for developing solutions for Microsoft Azure AZ204. So let's get started. Question number 1. What is cloud computing, and how does it work? Your answer is. Cloud computing refers to the provision of computing as a service rather than a product. It is entirely reliant on the Internet. Cloud computing makes hardware, such as servers, storage, application hosting, and other resources available on demand. As a result, it eliminates the need for you to install and maintain your services, and software on your local servers or personal computers. Question number 2. What is the concept of a resource group? Your answer is. In Azure, a resource category is a logical container for newly generated resources. Only one resource category may contain an ARM resource. In an area, a resource group is formed, which may include resources from other regions. The life cycle of all resources in the resource community is the same. Question number 3. How many resource groups a subscription can have? Your answer is. A subscription can have up to 800 resource groups. Also, a resource group can have up to 800 resources of the same type and up to 15 tags. Question number 4. What is Azure Storage, and how does it work? Your answer is. Microsoft's storage solution for data persistence situations is Azure Storage. In comparison to conventional data storage solutions, Azure Storage is extremely robust, available, and scalable. You just pay for what you use in Azure Storage, and it's accessible through simple and open REST APIs. It is the availability of rich client libraries and tools. Question number 5. What are Azure App Services, and what do they do? Your answer is. Azure App Services is a component of Microsoft Azure's PaaS offering. These are used to create, deploy, and scale enterprise-grade web, mobile, and API apps on any device quickly and easily. Virtual machines are used behind the scenes, but they are abstracted. This allow for both manual and automatic scaling. Java, Node.js, PHP, Python, .NET, and Ruby are all supported. Question number 6. What are the different types of applications provided by App Services in Azure? Your answer is. Azure App Service supports the following types of applications. 1. Web Apps. 2. Mobile Apps. 3. API Apps. Question number 7. What is serverless computing, and how does it work? Your answer is. One of the most commonly used terminology in the cloud these days is serverless computing. The PIS function, which provides an enormous amount of computing power without requiring a server to host an app, has had a significant impact on web growth. The aim is to perform computation without requiring the app to be hosted on a server. Essentially, it's similar to a taxi aggregator or even a food delivery startup in that it provides a forum for us to book a cab or order food, but the actual service is delivered by a third-party vendor. In a similar vein, we built a serverless computing module that can attach to various third-party services to complete the task. Question number 8. What exactly is an Azure function? Your answer is. Azure Functions is a serverless compute service that allows you to run code on demand, such as events and external invoke. Azure Functions will automatically scale up in response to demand. Web jobs have evolved into Azure features. You can write functions in C hash, Node, Java, Python, and other languages. App utilities are used by Azure Functions internally. Question number 9. In Azure SQL, what is federation? Your answer is. SQL Azure Federation is a collection of tools that enable developers to access and share databases in SQL Azure. Firstly, it allows users to take advantage of cloud-based services. Secondly, it enables users to create their own databases or to share databases with one another. Thirdly, it lowers the risk of a single point of failure. Last but not least, it saves money by just using cloud services when they're needed. Question number 10. What deployment environments does Azure provide? Your answer is. This is one of the most popular Azure interview questions, and you must be prepared to answer it. Azure provides two deployment options. One. Environment for staging. It offers a forum for validating improvements to your application before releasing it into production. The app can be found at this point using the Azure Globally Unique Identifier and URL form. 
2. Environment of production. The live application is stored in this environment. With a more DNS-friendly URL, it can be distinguished from the staging area. Question number 11, how to choose between DTU and vCore. Your answer is, refer to the following suggestions. Firstly, use the DTU model if there are no performance issues. Secondly, in DTU-based model, you need to pay a fixed amount each month for pre-configured compute resources. Thirdly, vCore allows you to dig into the underlying resources and scale them independently for optimal performance. Next, vCore allows you to take Azure Hybrid benefit for SQL Server. Last but not least, you can migrate between DTU-based and vCore-based models through the portal online. Question number 12, what are the various storage options available in Azure? Your answer is, the following are the various forms of storage. 1. Blobs. These are used to store vast volumes of unstructured data. 2. Queues. Queues are used to store messages that are sent between application components. 3. Files. Used to store files and share them as shared disk storage among VMs. 4. Disks. For high I.O. and random read-write operations, disks are used to create virtual machine disks. 5. Tables. In NoSQL, tables are used to store structured data, it's best for databases that aren't too large. Question number 13, can you move a resource from one group to another? Your answer is, yes, you can. A resource can be moved among resource groups. Question number 14, what are the benefits of Microsoft Azure? Your answer is, the following are some of Microsoft Azure's benefits. One. IT management effort and expenses can be reduced. 2. Reduce the cost of construction while also expanding on-site infrastructure. 3. Changes in your company and consumer desires must be addressed quickly. 4. Select the deployment model that best fits your needs, on-premises or off-premises. 5. Scale up and down your IT capital depending on your requirements. Question number 15. How is Azure CDN useful? Your answer is, Azure Content Delivery Network saves bandwidth, reduces load times, and boosts responsiveness. These benefits are perceptible when you are developing, or controlling websites or mobile apps. These benefits are also visible when encoding and distributing gaming software, streaming media, firmware updates, or IoT endpoints. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.